What is going on? Welcome to Aged and Barreled. Today, we're taking a look at Kentucky Spirit. This Kentucky straight bourbon is distilled out of the Wild Turkey Distillery located in Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. It is 101 proof or 50.5%. No age statement on here, but it's aged around eight years. And I picked this up for around $65. Uh, for comparison's sake, Wild Turkey 101 can be had for around $20 to $25, and both Russell's Reserve and Rare Breed can be picked up for around $50. This uses the same Wild Turkey mash bill of 75% corn, 13% rye, 12% barley, and the barrels are a number four alligator jar. Some cool facts about this, it was one of the first single barrels ever released, uh, originally released in 1995. This is only second to Elmer's Blanton's which was released uh, a few years prior. Now, this is essentially a premium single barrel version of Wild Turkey's 101. Um, they're using some of the older stock from this and it's not gonna be a vatting of some six, seven, and eight year. This is only a uh, single cask. So this specific bottle is from barrel 1711, stored in warehouse G, Rick number 31. No tasting notes on the bottle, so let's pop the cork off and give it a try. On the nose, sweet bourbon notes of vanilla, maple syrup, honey. Beneath that, there's black pepper, almond, and paprika. It has a bite, but it's not nearly as hot as I expect for anything over 50%. It's also not nearly as sweet as I expected from the nose. I get notes of uh, nutmeg, peanuts, uh, some darker notes of leather, tobacco, and a sweet honey in there as well. I have heard there's tons of variety with these bottles. Uh, being a single barrel, um, some of these are going to be incredible, others not so much, potentially even identical to Wild Turkey 101. All right, on the score section. Jumping in with flavor, subtle sweetness of honey gives way to spicy nutmeg, peanut, leather, and light tobacco develop. The strength is 101 proof or 50.5%. The bite is medium. The complexity is slightly higher than medium. And the price is around $60. Kentucky spirit seems to be waning. Don't get me wrong, this is good, solid bourbon. But I think there are some questions to the consistency and focus that one expects from a wild turkey product. This whiskey seems to suffer from middle child syndrome. Rare breed continues to shine and Russell's Reserve is a rising star. Kentucky Spirit has heritage and two of the best master distillers behind it, yet it doesn't seem to have their full attention. Russell's Reserve, the newer line of higher end whiskey, bears their namesake and may have taken center stage. After all, Kentucky Spirit was Jimmy's baby. And as he steps away, Eddie's brainchild may get more of that much needed attention and barrel stock. If Kentucky Spirit fades, it may be symbolic of Jimmy further passing the reins off to his son Eddie. Let me stress this again, this is good whiskey, but I know the Russells have much more to offer. I'm giving Kentucky Spirit Single Barrel a 6.7 out of 10. All right, that's gonna wrap up this video. If you've had Kentucky Spirit Single Barrel before, rate it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, enjoy.